Today I chase a stolen police car and a tow truck driver takes my vehicle. It all starts right now. Hey, what's going on? I'm Anton. Thank you for checking out this video. I'm back today with another GT5 LSPDFR episode and we are going to be using this ghost car. I actually used this pack. Uh, about a week ago or so from this episode we did it on a live stream and now I'm bringing this back in an episode and we're gonna be in the Ford Police Interceptor sedan which is of course based on the Ford Taurus and if you look very closely this is why these cars are called ghost cars because you can barely make out there it does actually say on its sheriff Blaine County and that's the whole point of the ghost car or a stealth car as they are also known is that the markings on the vehicle kind of tend to blend in with the look of the vehicle you're not really supposed to see it when it drives down the road like oh my god that's a police car right there but when you get close to it boom there it is and it is um, as you can see a slick top meaning there's no light bar at the top it does have some lights here in the back and in the front let me jump out uh, jump into the car rather and show you what that what those lights look like you can see here's the interior by the way we got the radar computer camera all of the fun stuff shotguns the passenger bad guy compartment <laughs> compartment back there uh, so here it is in all, all of its glory there we go oh this is the third stage of the emergency lighting system so not a heck of a lot of lights here on this vehicle we do have a light bar there in the back I do like those lights there on the sides and then in the front let me just take it to turn off my takedown look at these takedown lights that is like take down and like oh I can't see anything I give up officer I give up I give up uh, there's the uh, takedown lights in there of course with the takedown lights off we do have some lights here in the front so not a heck of a lot of lights on this car but you're supposed to be a little bit stealthy a little bit undercover and that's the kind of look that we are going for let's get on patrol see what happens tonight uh, dispatch uh, 3 Adam 10 go ahead and show me uh, 1041 I'll be 10-8 uh, uh, out here uh, coming uh, out of the station off Alhambra Drive and this guy just went past us and I think I heard him before might have a stolen car right here I'm gonna try to catch up to him and ooh, just made a left turn pretty at pretty high speeds looks like gonna be another right turn coming up right here usually when the car alarm is going off like that and he did not yield when the car alarm is going off like that we usually um, have a stolen vehicle uh, what's he doing whoa he's all over the road I dispatch uh, 3 Adam 10 I got a suspect here looks like might be taken off on me potentially stolen vehicle or maybe he's pulling over not quite sure what he's doing uh let's see here I don't I don't know if I tagged him or not see okay he just crashed into the uh, he just crashed into a house there uh, dispatch just crashed into a house get out with your hands up get your hands up get out of the vehicle stop the vehicle get out of the car hands up hands up hands up hands up just get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. Dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. I do have the suspect at gunpoint requesting additional unit to assist me. Code 2. No, we should be right around the corner here. You quiet down before you get arrested as well. Alright, stay right there, sir. Stay in the grass where I can see you. And right, I'm going to go ahead and hang up the suspect. Dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. Suspect is in custody. Looks like the other officer there is showing up in the stealth. The ghost FPIU. Ford Police Interceptor uh, Utility. It's the Ford night tonight. All right, let me get this guy back here a little bit closer to my cruiser. Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, what are you up to, huh? What are you up to? Where did you come from, man? Today. Oh, I was at an appointment! At an appointment. At this hour? I mean, it's not too late, but there's no appointments here in Sandy Shores at this time. And uh, what are you doing? Is that a stolen car you got? I am relaxing my soul! You're relaxing your soul. Okay, do you have anything illegal on you, my man? I'm a good citizen. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let me go ahead and uh, pat him down by myself. And then uh, I do believe the car is a stolen car, but we will double check that in just a second. Let's see here if he's got anything illegal on him. Then we'll get the other officer here to take him for me. He's got a chocolate bar and a citation ticket. Lynn Patricio is his name. Uh, dispatch requesting uh, 1027 on a Lynn Patricio. Lynn, go ahead and sit down for me on the ground. Uh, Lynn is going to come back with no outstanding warrants, so he does have an active license. And dispatch, I also need a 1028 
Marker is 6-0. Edward, Edward, David, 517 is our plate. Let's see if it is stolen. John Jackson, registered owner. Boom! There it is. Stolen car. Possible stolen vehicle. I knew it. When the horns are going off like that, stolen car. There we go. So that's a good catch right off the bat. Uh, let's go take a look here inside the vehicle, see what else we got. A shotgun in the front. I'm glad he did not use that on me. And nothing else here. Dispatch uh, 3 out of 10. I'm going to need a 1051 to our location here. Uh, let's get this car towed. Uh, officer, if you can pick him up for me. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, he's holding up all of the traffic here in Sandy Shores by leaving his car in the middle of Marina Drive. Uh, but uh, he just got hit as well. Uh, but he's gonna go ahead and take our suspect. Stop hitting our vehicles! Idiot. He's gonna go ahead and take our suspect. The tow truck is here. Looks like we're gonna be code 4 off uh, off this and uh, we'll be 10-8. Whoa! Just had another car go by me. We might have another potentially stolen vehicle. Let's see if we can catch up to him. What is happening tonight? I was just here about to pull over. Um, and uh, this guy just flew right past me here. Uh, looks like this is going to be a uh, number two. Let's go ahead and see if we can light him up. We have a 148 on um, Meringue Lane. All right, I think he might be taking off on us as well. Whoa, watch out. And he's like all over the place. Uh, I can't seem to call it in, but I think he is running. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if I... I got him tagged. But it's not letting me pull him over, and I think he is he is running at this time. Dispatch 3 out of 10. Go ahead and show me in the 1080. Uh, Going to be in pursuit of another stolen car. Marina Drive, eastbound on Marina, even though officially we're not in a pursuit. I can't seem to call it in or anything. But we are in a pursuit because this guy is not stopping for me, and he's just currently all over the road. Looks like he just spun out here. Dispatch, uh, Chola Springs Avenue and Mountain View. We're going to be westbound now on Chola Springs here. Looks like he's going to make another turn. Uh, Left-hand turn. I'm going to try to see if maybe I can take him out. Left-hand turn, southbound on Panorama now. Just right past the abandoned motel. Looks like he's going to be making another turn through the bush there, making a turn onto Zancudo Avenue. We're going to be now eastbound. Zancudo right next to the police station. Hey there, officers. Uh, some help would be nice. I don't know why I can't call it in. Seems to be something is bugged out. Let's see if I can take this guy out on my own. There we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it here in Sandy Shore. Step out of the vehicle, sir. Step out of the car, sir. Shots fired, shots fired. I think he's just trying to run me over. Just fired right at him. I might have taken him out. I'm not sure. He seems to have stopped. I mean, this guy was going for it. I was I was aiming right at him. He went straight for me. I, I had to do no choice but to discharge my weapon here. I uh, dispatch uh, three out of ten. Uh, shots fired. Looks like suspect is down. Nilland Avenue and Zancudo Avenue requesting immediate uh, 1052 assistance. Wow. Uh, that is not too far from the station, so they should be able to get here pretty quickly. But um, let me see here if I can go ahead and maybe uh, uh, pull him out in the meantime. I, look, I seem to have shot him right in the back here. Um, he's not responsive. He's bleeding actually all over the ground. You can see there are lots of blood coming out. Um, and I'm not good with blood. That is why I'm not a paramedic. And I called the paramedics here to come and help us. And there they come. Uh, our van ambulance has arrived. Uh, hey, guys. Feel free to get out whenever you, uh, whenever you like. Uh, hey guys, uh, yeah, I shot him. He tried to run me over, and I uh, ended up shooting them. Uh, not looking good. No, it's not looking good. And the car is not looking good either, because the car is all completely messed up as well. But again, I think this was a stolen vehicle. Why don't we start with that, since they are in the process of trying to resuscitate him. Uh, dispatch, gonna need another 10, uh, um, 28 here. It is going to be, uh, 7 zero. Tom Mary George 734. He's actually okay. He's getting up, so they're gonna take him to the hospital. Marco Day. Boom. Again. Stolen car. Marco Day is uh, the registered owner. It is a stolen car. So this fella is gonna be all right. He's going to the hospital. I just got him back into the back of the ambulance. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look here inside the vehicle. I might have to move the car. I think the paramedic is having a hard time getting into his ambulance. Uh, soccer ball and several cell phones. I don't know if they belong to the Marco Day, the original owner. I don't know what's going on there, but there we go. We're going to move the car so the paramedics are able to get into the vanbulance. 
and take uh, the suspect to the hospital. Louis, Louis Armstrong has uh, survived. He was shot by a firearm and he's gonna be all right. Lots of questions to uh, answer. He is officially under arrest even though he is going to the hospital. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and tow this sucker. Uh, dispatch, we're gonna need a flatbed on uh, Zancudo and Nilland Avenue. Uh, ooh, large tow truck. Oh, that's the wrong truck. It's all right. It's okay. They're gonna send a. They're gonna send a big, big truck, like a big wrecker now to tow this car, which is a bit of an overkill, but that's what happens when Anton chooses the wrong option. All right, that's okay. Could be worse. Could be worse. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into my cruiser. There comes the big wrecker. Get this guy going, because he clearly couldn't go around me. And I guess another stolen car off the streets. It's that sort of a night uh, tonight. Uh, there comes the uh, wrecker, and he's gonna tow. Such a huge truck for this uh, little car, but he's gonna tow it. Nonetheless, GM Anton Z Towing Company doesn't say no to any towing business. Um, we're gonna be code four and uh, 10 8 back in uh, back in, on patrol in Sandy Shores. Just been hanging out here at uh, Algonquin and Marina Drive, uh, looking for more stolen vehicles. But really, anybody with like no headlights on and stuff, it's pretty dead. It's pretty dead out here tonight in uh, Sandy Shores. Not a lot of traffic. Dispatch calling <laughs> unit three. Wow, uh, we have a, a stolen, stolen vehicle. A on, stolen um, police vehicle. East Joshua Road. Uh, Roger that, dis uh, dispatch. Uh, three out of ten responding. Uh, looks like they're just going to be uh, moving towards uh, the interstate right now on uh, East Joshua Road. Let's see if I can catch up with them. A stolen police vehicle. Yeah, it's definitely that kind of a night. Um, so let's see here if I can catch up. I don't know if they know yet. There's the police vehicle right here. I don't know if they know that I know. How do I pull? How do I pull over a fellow police vehicle? Oh, now he knows. Now he knows. I dispatched three out of ten. We have a possible one for Yeah, we got a 1080. East Joshua Road. Uh, dispatch. We're gonna be uh, east northbound East Joshua Road. He's got lights and sirens on. Uh, go ahead and show me in a pursuit dispatch. Uh, he's gonna be coming up on the interstate here. Such a dangerous intersection, especially to cross at full speeds. Oh, watch out! All right, some people slowing down there for us. Thank God. Uh, okay, so we're continuing here uh, eastbound Union Road. We're gonna, just gonna be looping around at this time. I uh, dispatch uh, three out of ten requesting additional units and uh, an air unit as well to assist. Looks like some units there joining in on, on the pursuit. And it's going to be difficult to keep track of the suspect if we end up losing him because he's just blending in with all of these vehicles. Looks like they were able to, uh, to take him out there ever so slightly, but he's back on the road. We are continuing here. Uh, Union is about to end. Which way is he going to go? He's going to come right through these lights. And uh, we're continuing now back towards the interstate again. Uh, looks like turning uh, back to US Route, US Route 13. Going to cross the interstate. People slowing down for us. That's good. Whoa! Watch out, officer. You gotta be more careful there. That officer so eager to jump in and take primary. You can go ahead and take primary there. Whoa! Taking out the suspect. Let's see if we can box them in. There you go. This is gonna be it right here. It's gonna be it. He's giving up. He's giving up. He's giving up. He's got. He's out of the car. He's out of the vehicle. Get your hands up, man. Hands up. Hands up. Let me see your hands. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. He's gonna try to run. What's he doing? Suspect is on foot. Suspect is on foot. He's getting uh, on the ground right now. Dispatch. We got suspect at gunpoint. All right, I'm gonna move in for the arrest, guys. You got me covered. Watch your crossfire. I dispatch. We're gonna be code four. Pursuit has been terminated. Union Road, O'Neill Way. Wow. Wow, that is a lot of ghost units right here. A lot of ghost stealth cars. All right, my man. How did you manage to uh, steal a police car, and where were you headed to with that stolen car, eh? Oh, you'll never know. Yeah, I guess we'll never know. He doesn't want to talk to us. All right, man. Uh, do you have anything illegal on you? I'm going to pat you down here. Not that I remember. All right, let's go ahead and uh, give him a quick pat down, see what Good he's day. got, if he does have anything on him that might be potentially of interest. I do like the lights on the on the Explorer, the Fort Police Interceptor Utility. There's, like, lights everywhere all over the back there. A, pep a pepper spray and a binocular is what Chris Jackal as on his person. Dispatch, can we get a 1027 for a Chris Jackal? Let's get him. Let's get him uh, there uh, through dispatch. A license is valid, no outstanding warrants. And uh, officer, if maybe you can give him a breathalyzer test. I'm gonna just uh, take a quick look here inside the vehicle. I don't think actually I can. 
uh, unable. Yeah, you can't search police vehicles, unfortunately. So, I don't know if he left anything behind. We'll let that for the detectives uh, to figure out. Wow, look at that. Alcohol might have been a factor here. He's not quite at the limit, but he is up there. 0.051. He might have been drunk when he stole a police vehicle. Maybe that's why he stole it, because he just was drunk and he thought, hey, it's a good idea. I hear more car alarms. Honestly. <laughs> There are more stolen cars. How many more stolen cars are we going to have in this area? What is happening? Why is everybody stealing vehicles? All right, uh, maybe they can check him for drugs as well here. And then in the meantime, I'm going to get a... I'm going to turn the lights off. And let's go ahead and maybe get... Yeah, he's going to come back. As you can see, they're negative on everything. though. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, officer, do you want to get out of that vehicle? What's he doing in there? Hey, what's going on? Jump out of the car there for me. All right, well, I guess you're gonna get towed with that vehicle there, officer. Uh, dispatch, can we get a flatbed? Flatbed this time around, not a large tow truck on Union and O'Neill Way? Yes, go ahead and tow the cop vehicle, please. Flatbed, assistance required on um, okay. Union Road. And then this guy is ready for transport. Maybe one of these officers can grab him. On, oh, there comes um, the flatbed. Hello. Jimin Tanzi Towing Company. Bye, officer. He's sitting inside the car. He's gonna get... Oh, no, wait, that's my car. No, you took the wrong police car. No, that's, that's, that's my police. No, get, get that off the flatbed. Hey, hey, come, hey, come back here. No, that's my police car. You towed the wrong car. You towed the wrong car. No, stop. Stop, you, st <laughs> stop, you idiot. Oh my God, you towed the wrong car. Oh, uh, uh, ah! oh my goodness. Okay, well, I, I can't catch up to him. Hey, hey, I don't know if he can see me or not. Oh, hold on. Uh, go, go, go. Maybe the cow will stop him. Cow. Cow, get in the way! Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> he ran over the cow, too, on top of that. Well, there goes my police car, and I guess... Um, I'm 10-7. I've been done with my shift. Oh, boy. Officers! I lost my vehicle. Oh, man. And that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button while you're here. Check out some more content on the channel as well. You are going to love it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.